Welcome back. After a mass shooting tragedy, the debate over gun control immediately is reinvigorated in this country. Some states have enacted bans on assault weapons commonly used in these headline-making shootings. Here's national correspondent Vanessa Mashanya, who went to where the most recent ban went into effect. These are for law enforcement. I can still build for law enforcement, uh, but I can't build for, you know, the normal Joe Public, unfortunately. In his 12 years of being a custom gun maker, Chris Cantrell has never had a busier few weeks than he has recently. It was unfortunate that I was that busy because people felt panicked and rushed, right, to to get something before it's taken away, and they didn't think it could be taken away. In the period between when Washington's new assault weapons ban was passed and when it went into effect, he could not keep the AR guns he makes on the shelves for long. Is this gun law gonna stop me from buying another AR? Yeah, I'm not gonna break the law, that's not who I am. There's no reason that it's gonna stop criminals because they're they're criminals. As a gun maker, a civil liability law passed along with the assault weapons ban, meaning that if someone buys one of Cantrell's guns and commits a heinous crime, he might face some legal penalties. He says his family is worried about whether they should even continue the business. Every person I've ever sold a gun to is a law-abiding citizen, and, and hopefully that continues, right? I don't know. I, I don't, I'm again, I'm not a mental health expert. I don't know how things snap. Got a frame and now here it sits. At the Alliance for Gun Responsibility in Seattle, a different reaction to this new law, one of hope and relief for the organization who worked on this legislation. Unfortunately, um, more and more people become survivors of gun violence every day. As gun violence continues to be a super pervasive issue in our society, I think more and more people are starting to recognize that change needs to happen. For 10 years, the Alliance has been advocating for gun control in Washington state. The recent ban is a big victory for them, along with last year's high capacity magazine ban. Where those who oppose these measures believe this only helps criminals, Hazel Brown believes the opposite. To think about policy only through the lens of those that will intentionally break that policy is, is pretty flawed. We know that so many uh, Washingtonians who own firearms are smart, responsible firearm owners, um, but we just need to make sure that everyone is on the same page for how dangerous these weapons are. This ban makes Washington the 10th state, which includes the District of Columbia, to put similar measures in place, but the data on the effectiveness of those earlier bans is unclear. The Rand Corporation looked at several studies on the effectiveness of assault weapons bans in January. What they found is that assault weapons bans have uncertain effects on mass shootings and the evidence is inconclusive. It also found that high capacity magazine bans may decrease mass shootings, but evidence there is limited. It's got a lot to, to go before it can really have a, a trend. During the 1994 ban, which ended in 2004, mass shootings were 70% less likely to occur than today. But Mark Bryant from the Gun Violence Archive says we can't really compare then and now because of the increase in guns available compared to that time. Bryant believes we need more time to see what kind of impact bans may or may not have, but we all need to continue to work on multifaceted solutions for this complex problem. We have to look at what what's the right response on all of this. And it can go, it's, it's neither fringe. Neither fringe is going to be the solution. The solution is going to come out of the middle. This is banned, which doesn't make any sense, but I could shoot this. For those on polar opposite sides, however, finding common ground may take even more time than gathering and accessing more data. No one wants to see people die. And we hear very frequently that, uh, you know, guns aren't the issue. I need to be really adamant in saying that, you know, we know that guns are. I understand the passion behind it. I totally do. If you're a hard left liberal and you hate my guts, I understand. Is it misguided? 